Good morning, everybody. Working fine now? Okay, don't forget to invite. Don't forget to share. And where are you tuning in from? <clears throat> We are back, yes. Let's try this again. Marilyn, good morning. Good morning, everybody. They were saying it was freezing, so I'm shut my system down and reboot it. And let's see. We want everybody to join in all around the world. Come on. Come on. Where are you coming in from? Come on. <clears throat> and pour your spirit. Good morning, Tampa, Florida. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Scotland. God bless you, precious. I'm glad you I'm glad you connected this morning. Good morning, Mississippi. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to invite. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Florida. Good morning, Louisiana. Good morning, Massachusetts. Where you joining in from? Good morning, Dominica. All around the world. Good morning, Farmville, Louisiana. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, Portage, Indiana. God bless you. Brooklyn, I see you. I see you, Brooklyn. Good morning, Scotland. God bless you, precious. Michigan, I see you. And for your spirit, how? Where are you joining in from? All right, precious. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, good morning. Jacksonville, Florida, good morning. Thank you, Jesus. Elizabethtown, Kentucky, God bless you. Good morning, Marina Valley, California, God bless you. Lake Elsinore, God bless you, precious. Mississippi, I see you. Yes, all around the world. Good morning, Dallas, Texas. Good morning, Columbia, Maryland. God bless you. We need you, Lord. Let your glory fall. Good morning, Houston, Texas. West Palm Beach, I see you. We need you, Lord. Let your glory fall. Good morning, Dallas, Texas. I see you. Good morning, Nina. Lord, let your glory fall. Pasadena, California. I see you. Miretta, California. I see you. We need you. We need you. We need you. Fort Lauderdale, I see you. Sacramento, California, I see you. God bless you if you sow and seed into this ministry. I love you all. Good morning, Atlanta, Georgia. Texas, you're strong in the house. Villafon, Pennsylvania, God bless you this morning. Ontario, California, yes, yes. Fort Worth, Texas, good morning. 
Don't forget to share and don't forget, glory to God, to invite Texas. I see you. I see you. New York City, God bless you. Albany, New York. Albany, New York. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, Michigan. Atlanta. God bless you. A few more seconds. Pearl in Texas. I know we had to shut down and then come back on. Nassau, Bahamas, God bless you. Good morning. Atlantic City, New Jersey, good morning. Detroit, Michigan, you know I see you, right? Miami, I see you. God bless you. We want more. We need more of his spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Angela. God bless you, precious. Whew. Yes. 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 To Mikula. Marina Valley, good morning. I see you. Arkansas. Thank you, Lord. I love you too, Larissa. Yes. Barbados, good morning. I'm going to try to keep it together. Noon in Georgia, good morning. Thank you, Big Head Show. Philadelphia, good morning. Brent, Alabama, good morning. Greensboro, New York, good morning. I'm going to try to keep it together. Hey. Thank you, Big Head Show. Good morning. Hey. Woo. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Woo. I see you, Brent, Alabama. I'm going to try to keep it together. A few more seconds. A few more seconds. A few more seconds. Woo. Hey, baby, 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 baby. Thank you, Father. Hey. Hey, thank you, Father. Ooh. Yes, Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ooh. Glory to your wonderful name. Ooh. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Right now. Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh. Thank you. Hey. Yes, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Thank you. Hey. Thank you, Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Mother Lucinda, I love you too, Mother. God bless you. Just a few seconds. Let's worship. Let's worship before we hit it. 
Let's worship. Thank you, Father. He's here. He's here. Somebody's going to be blessed today. Hey, somebody, somebody, somebody's going to be healed today. Somebody is going to get delivered today. Somebody is going to get set free today. Back here, bo 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 say, yes God, yes God. Who pick his shanda? Hey, I bo say, hey, he called. Yeah, man, na na bo so bo ne ya na say, hey, yes God. For I shall do it for someone. Said God, I will move on their behalf. Everybody, she called me. I know. Say, I'm not. Yes God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Somebody is pulling on God today. Is that you? Abo Shanda. My God. Yes, God. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, in advance. Thank you, O'Shea, in advance. You're not late. You're on time, precious. You're on time. We're worshiping. Let your glory fall. We need you. Yes, healing in your leg. That's right. Touch that area. Touch that area in your body. The spirit of the Lord is moving. There's a fresh wind moving. Get up, Oshaya. The Holy Spirit is here. Hey, glory to God. Your heart is heavy. He will lift your heart. He will. He will comfort you. Maybe I she called on the shape. Hey. Hey, yeah, called on the shape. Hey. God bless us, your people. My God from Zion. We need you. We need you. Blessings. Thank you, Lord. Touch the heart of the people. Lord God, touch the heart of the people. God, you see and you know. You're the answer in the name of Jesus. Hey. Woo. Hey. Yes, God. Get up, 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 say. I command that blood pressure to level off in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Yes, God. 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 Thank you, Lord. Mm. Oh, God, we thank you this morning for your presence. We thank you, Lord God. We honor you, Lord God. We're sensitive to your presence. We're sensitive to the move of God. Father, have your divine way in the name of Jesus, oh God. Holy Spirit, open our hearts, our minds, and our spirit unto you. Holy Spirit, speak. Father, release your angels to perform your good word towards us this day, Lord God. And we thank you in advance, oh God, as we start the weather forecast on behalf.
behalf, glory to God, of heaven. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. All around the world, we send kisses and hugs to everyone. We thank God for you, 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 and you. Don't forget to invite or to share. Uh, we're not coming on late. Uh, there were people that were saying it was frozen on their end, and mine's looked fine, but I wanted to make sure everybody was connected this morning, so I just turned it off, and then I popped it back on. And so we're all on the same page. So no, you all that just came in, you're not late. You're on time. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. And to those that will come on come on after the fact, after this, amen, teaching and praying is over, we pray that God will touch your heart, that God will bless you, that God will deliver, and that God will heal. But this morning is our weather forecast morning. I am your weather forecast announcer. Everybody knows me that comes on here. Glory to God and connects with me. I am Apostle Vanessa Jackson, and I stand, glory to God, in front of you this morning and to let you you know that your weather forecast in the spirit, your weather forecast in the spirit is rumor has it. Rumor has it. Now spread the letter out before God. Rumor has it. Now spread the letter out before God. Rumor has it. Now spread the letter. What letter? Your letter. You're going to know what letter we are going to be talking about this morning before we pray. Everyone knows, glory to God, when they connect and link with Apostle Vanessa Jackson, Vanessa Jackson Global Ministries, we always start with the Word of God because the Word of God is the foundation that we stand upon when we pray. I realize, and I know you realize, that when we pray the word of God back to God, God is obligated, glory to God, to watch over his word and to perform his word. But what I need from everyone that is connecting, that is on live right now, that we all join in as unified. We are family on this page. There's nobody bigger or little. There's nobody greater or smaller. There's only one great, and his name is Jesus. We are all family. We are all going through something, but we know our answer is Jesus Christ. And the Bible said, when two touch and agree, anything upon the earth, asking the Father to do it, he will do it. And I know that God will do it because why? We're coming into agreement. My God, agreement is powerful. When we come into agreement, the enemy knows he cannot do anything with the body of Christ or the children of God. So let me help you. Let us all come into agreement. Glory to God. We all have a situation we are facing, but God is the answer. And what we want God to do, we want God to move on our behalf. For the Bible says that who that believe God will, my God, miracle signs and wonders will follow them. I know you believe God. I believe God too. So therefore, miracle signs and wonders are supposed to follow us. Now watch this. Buckle your seatbelt. Miracle signs and wonders are to follow us right now. There is somebody on here needs a 911 from God right now. There is somebody on here need God to move on their behalf right now. And that's what I'm standing in agreement with right now. So we realize that before we begin to pray, we stand upon the word of God. Everything is going down but the word of God. Glory to God. And so we are grateful that God has given us this hour. God has given us this time. Glory to God to link together. Glory to God to get clarity, insight, and understanding of the word of God and then begin to pray the word of God back to God. There is somebody on here, if not all of us, it is about to see the hand of God. My God from Zion, I know, glory to God, that God hears us. You must have faith that God hears. I have faith and I believe if you join in me, you've been with me for a while, so I know you got some crazy faith. We are not just walking in faith. We're walking in crazy faith because if God said it, he's well able to do it. We are posturing ourselves so God can do what it is we cannot do. For the Bible says without God, all things are impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So we have connected with God. So for that reason, all things are 
possible. Somebody should be saying amen. So you, your weather forecast and my weather forecast for this morning in the realm of the spirit, not ABC, not NBC, not CBS, not TNT, not Bravo. Come on, y'all. Not BET, not TV One, but the realm of the spirit is rumor has it. Now, spread your letter out before God and watch. That is the weather forecast that is going to take place in your life on this morning. Glory to God. Rumor has it. Let's go to the book of Isaiah 37, where we shall find our scripture that we're going to stand upon and we're going to begin to pray. Isaiah chapter 37, verse 7 verse 14, verse 20, and verse 29. The Bible decrees the word of God to be so. I need you to believe right now. I need you to pull on God right now. You know the presence of the Lord is here. Glory to God. I could have just went out and all you would have did was seen a wall with paper on with, with scriptures and different things of that nature. Glory to God because the presence of the Lord is here for you, me, and all those that would connect in the realm of the spirit. And and so glory to God. We are in the book of Isaiah chapter 37. Isaiah chapter 37, round about verse 7. Rumor has it. Lord have mercy. Rumor has it. Now spread your letter before God and watch. Isaiah chapter 37 and verse 7, the Bible decrees the word of God to be so. Behold, I will send a blast upon him and he shall hear a rumor and return to his own land and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. Somebody right there should be getting happy because the Lord said rumor has it. Are you hearing me? I don't want to go too fast and I don't want to go too slow. Glory to God. But I'm going to read that scripture again. Behold, I will send a blast. Who will send a blast? God will send a blast. A blast or a sound. Uh-huh. Upon him. Upon who? Upon your enemy. My God from Zion, and he shall hear a rumor and return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. Verse 14, and Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers. Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of his enemies, and he read it, and Hezekiah went up unto the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. What did he sp spread before the Lord? He spread the letter before the Lord, the very letter that the enemy sent, the very letter that the enemy was trying to destroy. Glory to God, him and the people he was covering. Is anybody listening or did everybody go home? Verse 20. The Bible decrees the word of God to be so. Now, therefore, O Lord God, this is Hezekiah talking. Now, therefore, O Lord God, save us from his hand. Uh-huh. That all the kingdom of the earth, that all the kingdom of the earth may know that thou art Lord, even thou only. There is no other God. There is no other savior. There is no other deliverer. There is no other healer. Only you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Go to verse 29. Because that because thy rage now this is the Lord speaking. Because thy rage against me and thy tumult is come up into mine ears, therefore will I put my hook in thy nose and my bridle in thy lips, and I will turn thee back by the way by which thou camest. That right there is encouraging to somebody this morning. That's encouraging to somebody this morning. Rumor has it. Now spread the letter out before God and watch. Second Chronicles 20 and verse 5, it tells us this. Second Chronicles 20 and 5 says, and Je Jehoshaphat stood. Watch this. 20 and 15, I'm sorry. And he said, Hearken ye Judah and, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat. Thus said the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God. Did you hear that? The battle is not yours, but God. Did you hear that? The battle is not yours, but God. Did you hear that? Second Chronicles 20 and verse 15. 
Psalms chapter 34 and verse 17 says, the righteous cry and, and he hear it and deliver them out of all their trouble. The righteous cry and he hear it and deliver them out of all their trouble. Did you see that? Did you hear that, beloved? Rumor has it, but now, but now spread the letter out before God and watch. Uh-huh. Exodus chapter 14 and verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, fear not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today, today, T-O-D. A Y today. Stand still in your spirit. Glory to God. And I'm Shanda. Stand still and see the salvation, the deliverance, the breakthrough. Are you hearing the Lord? Salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. Glory to God. say, My God from Zion. James. James, glory to God. James chapter 5 and verse 16 says it like this. James chapter 5 and verse 16 says, Confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Did you hear that? The fervent effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Did you not see those scriptures? Moses said to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord today. For the Egyptians that you see, you you will see no more. Glory to Bo Shanda. Hallelujah. Bo Shaya. Jehoshaphat said, Glory to God. God is going to deal with our enemies on today. So, whatever glory to God situation you find in yourself in right now, God said, Stand still. Because I know rumor has it that the enemy is saying he's going to try to do this, that, and the other to you. Glory to God. He's going to try to evict you. He's going to try to do this, that, and the other. But it won't be able to happen because the Lord said, Rumor has it. And the rumor, glory to God, rumor has it. In other words, God said, I heard what the enemy said when he was going to try to do to you, but it will not work. See right there, you ought to get happy right there. Glory to God. And so in the book of Isaiah chapter 37, the Bible begins to tell us this. It finds us up that here it is, Hezekiah, which is the king at this particular time in this passage of scripture. He is the king, but the enemy has come up against him and my God and his um, um, the people that are with him, connected to him, that is under him. And here it is. The Lord begins to say, Isaiah 37 and 7, Behold, I will send a blast upon him. I'm going to send a sound. In other words, the Lord is saying, I'm going to deal with your enemy. I'm going to give your enemy. Now, that's a spirit. Are you hearing me? And yes, sometimes, it ain't, listen, sometimes the enemy don't have to deal with wicked people because they're already wicked. And so there are people that's already wicked that God is going to deal with. But there are people, glory to God, that is led by a demonic spirit. So you have wicked people. Then you have people led by a, de a demonic spirit. And for that reason, God said, don't worry. It's going to be a rumor. Come on, rumor has I'm going to send a blast. I'm going to send a sound. Are you hearing me? He said, don't worry. I'm going to send a sound or a rumor. And he's going to return to his own land. And when he returns to his own land, I will cause him to fall by his own sword. Somebody right there should have been getting happy because whatever the enemy, I don't care if it's people or a spirit that is trying to come up against you with, that is the same weapon that is going to take them out right there. Somebody should have got happy right there. I said the very, my God from Zion weapon that the enemy is trying to use on you, whether it's depression, whether it's poverty, are you getting this? Glory to God, whether it's eviction, are you listening to me? Glory to God, whether it's sickness, are you hearing me? Whatever the weapon is is the Lord said that very weapon is going to take your enemies out. It's not going to take you out. The Lord said rumor has it. I heard what the enemy said. The enemy wasn't talking about you. The enemy was talking about God. Oh my God from Zion. Let me keep, keep on building my case so you can see that when we stand upon the word of God and we begin to pray, you need to start shouting glory to God because God said I heard it. I know what they said. I know what they said they was going to try to do. I know the enemy said he was going to try to kill you. Glory to God. God said, I heard it all. Is anybody listening or did everybody go home? But you should get happy today. You should, glory to God, grab a hole, my God, between the horn and the altar and begin to praise God because God said, I heard it. And the same weapon that the enemy was trying to use on you to destroy you, I'm going to use it on him. 
Glory to God. They hollering in my house. I can hear them hollering. Glory to God. Are you praising God today? I don't care if it's a job situation. I don't care if it's a money situation. I don't care if it's spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, or emotionally. There is a weapon that is trying to come up against you or your family or a loved one. Are you hearing me? And the Lord said, rumor has it. Glory to God. I know what they said. I know what they're trying to do, but it will not work. Somebody should get happy. God said the same weapon they have tried to use on you to destroy your children, to destroy your marriage, to destroy your home, to destroy your finances, to destroy your ministry, to destroy your character. I'm going to use the same weapon on them to destroy them. Somebody should say amen in this place. My God from Zion. Woo! The Bible said, I like Hezekiah because Hezekiah didn't run to nobody. He didn't run to people and say, let me tell you what's going on. The Bible said in verse 14, my God from Zion, Hezekiah ran to the house of God. Glory to God. Well, apostle, my church house is way across the way across yonder. Well, precious, I'm not talking about the building. I'm talking about the church that's in you. You got to run with the church that's in you. The Holy Ghost that's in you. The Lord our God that's in you. The spirit of God that's in you. Jesus, the word that is in you. You got to run to it. You ain't got time to pick up no phone and tell people what the enemy is trying to do. Glory to God. The Bible said Hezekiah ran to the house of the Lord and he spread it out before the Lord. He said, this what the enemy said they wanted to do. This, that, and the other. You got to spread that letter out before God. What did the enemy say? My God from Zion. My God, the Lord said, rumor has it. I I know what he's trying to do. Oh, by Sakarabo Sanda. But he won't be able to. He will not be able to accomplish it. Glory to about Sakarabo Somebody said they running all over their house. Baby, you better run. Glory to God. If I can get up and start running, I start running too. Because the same weapon. That's trying to take you out. The Lord said, rumor has it. Glory to God. I'm getting ready to send a blast. They get ready to hear a sound. You remember the story. Glory to God. Those, amen, that was leopard. And the prophet prophesied by this time tomorrow. You remember that story. Glory to God. Well, the lepers that was sitting at the gate, God allowed the enemy to hear a sound. And they hurried up and, and got out. They left all their stuff. But they hurry up and ran. My God from Zion. God said, I'm getting cause your enemies to hear a sound and it's going to cause them to run back to that land. The land they got that information from. Come on somebody. My God. I'm going to cause them to run right back to that place and I'm getting ready to destroy them right in that place where they counted up. Amen. That My God. That situation against you where they counted up. Amen. And tried to, my God, reject you, to cast you out, to shut you down. Are you hearing me? To cause you not to lift your head up to God. I'm going to them right back to that place because don't you know the enemy and the enemies and the frenemies and all them other enemies they get together and they start talking glory to God I love Shonda, of how my God they want you out of the way but what they fail to realize if you don't stay in the way they'll be destroyed they'll go to hell because it's you that standing in the gap for them and they don't even realize it somebody should say amen I feel this in my knowing I said, I feel this in my knowing. Ha, oh, yeah, but see. So he, he, he spread the letter out. He spread the letter out. I got to look at the time, make sure we stay on track of the time too. He spread the letter out before the Lord. Baby said, just like he said on that paper, what they said, if you don't do this by this time, well, read it. Read it just like he said. Don't you add nothing to it. Don't you take it away. Read it. Lord, the doctor said, read it. Come on, come on. The lawyer said, read it. Come on. The landowner said, read it. I ain't finna call him no landlord. They ain't no Lord. Landowner. The landowner said, read what they said. Come on. The utility people, what did they say? Read it. Read it out to God. Read it. Spread it out before God and read what they said. Read it. Higher. Read it. Come on. Why are you depressed? There's something that happened that caused you to be depressed. Read it. My God from Zion. Why are you upset? There's something that happened that caused you to be upset. Read it. Read it to God. Tell him. 
How did I both say? I don't want you to listen. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When I tell you to read it, I mean read it. I don't need you to read no scripture. I don't want you to be reading no weapon for him against me. Shall pro Not now. That ain't, that ain't what Hezekiah did right here. He read the letter. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, because cause, y'all don't believe that. I was trying to cut time because the scriptures are so long that I was trying to, you know, just hit certain ones, but you don't believe it. See, sometimes y'all be doing stuff, you all out of pocket. No, ain't no quote scripture right here. You got to read the letter. Read the letter to God. Read it. Well, possibly if I said, then that mean I believe it. No, because if God said, agree with your adversary quickly, don't mean because you agreeing, you connected with them. You agreeing so they can shut up. So peace can be in operation. Peace can be in the atmosphere so God can move. I'm not telling you to quote no scripture right here. I said, read the letter. Okay, read the letter. Read what's going on. Do you know how to read people? Oh, you thought you, you see, read it. But read it to God. Okay, all right. Don't come, don't come try to be deep with me. Not now. We're trying to get you a breakthrough. We're trying to get you healed. Delivered, set free. We're trying to get a door open. We're trying that person that's going into surgery. Don't know if they're going to live or die. Are you here? We ain't got time for you to be deep. All I need you to do right now is to read it. Read the report. But I don't believe the report of, of the report of the enemy. I know you don't. But this time you got to read it before God. You got to read it. Your husband, your wife is trying to walk off. Amen. And take everything and don't want to be bothered with you no more. Read it. Don't try to spare their life. Read it. Who they trying to spare yours? Read what they're doing. Glory to God. What they say they're trying to take from you before God, not people. We're not bringing in nobody. This ain't got nothing to do with nobody but you and God. He wants you to read it. I got to say that because I don't need no deep people on here right now. I don't need you to quote a scripture. I need you to read whatever it is going on. I need you to say it just like a T.I. is. What's happening? How is it happening? What color is it? Come on, somebody. Get it. Woo! Glory to God. The Bible says, for the sake of time, I didn't read everything, but for the sake of time, the Bible said, Hezekiah spread that letter out and he started reading what the enemy said he was going to do to them. Right to God. Are you hearing me? And Hezekiah prayed unto the Lord. Okay, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it because I need you to know. I don't need y'all to be deep right now. I know you, I know you oiled. I know the hand of God is on you. I know you study your word. I know you can quote scriptures up, down, in, out, back, and forth. But that ain't it right now, boo. That ain't where we at right now. It's time to read it. It's time to read the letter before God. They done cussed you out. They done said all manner evil about you. Come on. And you sitting here trying to spare. You better read it. You better read it before God. All right? Okay, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, that dwellest between the, between the cherubim, that art the God, even thou alone of all the kingdoms of the earth, thou hast made heaven and earth. Incline thy ear, O Lord, and hear upon thy eyes, open thy eyes, O Lord, and see, and hear all the words of sin, sin corrupt. That's the enemy. Are you hearing me? Which has sent to reproach. What is to reproach? To disgrace, to shame. Are you hearing me? Can I help you with something? This ain't even got nothing to do with us. And you, you don't want to read the letter? Come on. This is about because you stood, you're standing on the word of God. You're standing by faith and you're trusted and you're believing God. Glory to God. And the enemy is trying to defy and come up and reproach your God. That's why you got to read what the enemy is trying to say against your God. Are you hearing me? Incline thine ear, O Lord, and hear. Open thine eyes, O Lord, and see and hear all the words of Sinkrim. That means his enemy, which has sent to reproach. The word reproach means to disgrace, to shame, to scorn, to criticize, uh -huh, to disapproval, to disappoint. Are you hearing me? Uh huh. Reproach the lion God, saying God is lying, that you're not going to get healed. The, 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 the enemy is saying God is lying, that he's not going to deliver you. The enemy is saying God is lying. Are you hearing me? No, baby, we ain't holding him back today. God said, read me the letter. Read, tell me what they said. Read it to me. And he said, who is he? Hezekiah, verse 18, said, of a truth, Lord. The king, 
The kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations and their countries. Here is Hezekiah giving the report back to God. Yes, God knows all things. He's not in. Oh, what? That just happened? Oh, my God. That didn't catch God off guard. But he want us, okay? Read the letter to me. Tell me what he said about me. Tell me, tell me what the enemy said that I can't do. Tell me what the enemy said that he was gonna do to you and your family. Tell me. See this. See, I, I feel this thing in my knowing for somebody. I feel this in my knowing for somebody. God said, "Tell me, tell, tell me." So here it is. Hezekiah is telling the Lord about what the king uh, of Assyria, Sinkernab, the enemy, how he won all his battles to everybody that had their little GGs, their little gods. Are you hearing me? But see, this is the awesome God. This is the one and only God. There was no God before our God. There is no God after our God. My God from Zion, and he don't need nobody help. Your enemies and my enemies and my our frenemies are going down today. Watch this. Of a troop, Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations and their countries and have cast their gods into the fire. But they were no gods, but their work of men's hands because they believed this stuff was not of God. Are you hearing me? And stone, therefore, they have destroyed them. And then here's Hezekiah. Now, therefore, O Lord God, save us from his hand that all the, all the kingdoms that everybody shall know. God, that everybody shall know that the next time they try to mess with your children, the next time they try to mess with the body of Christ, the next time that they would think twice about coming for the children of God. This is what Hezekiah was saying. Are you hearing me? So here it is. Glory to God. That now here it is, Isaiah, the prophet. The prophet was standing, and the prophet got the word from the Lord for Hezekiah. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Then Isaiah, the son of Amaz, sent unto Hezekiah, saying, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, whereas I'm verse 21. I'm in verse 21 for those that are following me in the word and those that are writing it down. I'm in verse 21. Baby, dry your eyes today. Echo, say, uh, square your shoulders back today. Something is getting ready to happen on your behalf today. Rumor has it. Now spread the letter out before God and watch. So Hezekiah, so, uh, the prophet, thus said the Lord God of Israel, whereas thou hast prayed to me against sinner. Okay, he said, therefore you have prayed. Uh, in First Kings, there's the same book. He said, you prayed and I heard you. I heard what you said. I heard everything that you said the enemy said against me. This is what the Lord was saying to Isaiah to tell Hezekiah. This is a word which the Lord has spoken concerning him. Who is him? Your enemies. I'm getting ready to tell you. The Lord said, I'm getting ready to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm getting ready to tell you what I'm getting ready to do to your enemies. They shouldn't have messed with you. Baby, they should have walked right past your house. They shouldn't have stopped at your house. Are you hearing me? They shouldn't have tried to camp out at your house. Is anybody listening? They shouldn't have tried to camp out at your ministry. Is anybody listening? They shouldn't have tried to camp out at your body. Is anybody listening? They should not have tried to camp out at your children's life. Is anybody listening to me this morning? Glory to God. I see our feelings because I'm, 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 I'm hollering. I, everything in me is just, just because I'm telling you, rumor has, they kill Shonda. Rumor has it. Spread the letter out before God and watch. Watch who? Watch God after you spread the letter out and tell the Lord what's on the letter, what they said, and how they said it. Glory to God. Harabo Shanda. Glory to God. Here it is. Verse 26. Watch what God said. Has thou not heard long ago how I have done it? <laughs> and of ancient times that I have formed it? Now have I brought it to pass that thou shouldest be uh, uh, be to lay waste defense city into ruins of he you do you not God said, Do you not know who I am? Do you did you not hear what I did? Did you not hear how I overthrew the enemy? Do you they must didn't hear about me. They must didn't. God, this is God talking. Uh, they must didn't hear about me and how I operate. Oh, see right there. See, I come from. I'm trying to tell. You, I come from the hood, so you know it's. Hey, they don't know nothing about me. They don't know what I did before. They don't know how I healed your body before. They don't know how I delivered you before and took out the enemy before. Come on here. This is what the Lord has said regarding you. They don't know. 
all they about to know now. They shouldn't have messed with you. As I said, we've always said, they shouldn't have done, 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 done that. They shouldn't have put their hands on you. They shouldn't have put their mouth on you. They shouldn't have sent that letter to you trying to bring you down. Come on here, somebody. They shouldn't have touched your family. Who am I talking to? They shouldn't have touched your money. They shouldn't have touched your body. They shouldn't have touched your children. They shouldn't have touched your business. They shouldn't have touched your marriage. Who am I talking to this morning? My God from Zion. Here it is, verse 29. I, I, I got to pray. Because thy rage against me and thy tumor is come up into mine ears, therefore will I put my hook in your nose. This is what the Lord said. You know, glory to God, when you go fishing, you got the hook and you got the little thing on it. And it got little worms or whatever you, whatever you have to catch the fish. Well, it goes into their mouth and it hooks. He said, I'm getting ready to hook them by their nose. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to brighter their mouth. So I'm going to hook them by their nose. And then I'm going to brighter their mouth. My God, God can really tell up some stuff. Whew. God can really tell up somebody for you. Oh, they had their time to leave you alone. They had their time to change their mind. They had their time to give you a second chance, but they didn't. Okay, God said, this is what I'm getting ready to do. Because see, you coming up against me. You got all this rage. This is the enemy. You got all this rage, God said, against me. Let me tell you what I'm going to do to you. He said, because thou rage against me and thy tumor is come up into my ears, therefore will I put my hook in your nose and my bridle in your lips, and I will turn thee back by the way by which you came. Now watch what God is saying to us. This is going to be our sign. This is going to be our sign. Uh -huh. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall eat this year such as growing of itself. Now, how can you and I eat? Of what growth itself. That's supernatural. And we're going through this. In other words. We're not going down. Are you hearing me? The enemy is going down. God said let me tell you. This is going to be a sign to you. That you're going to eat for the rest of this year. Of what growth of itself. Supernaturally. Things are going to happen in your life. For the rest of the year. This is the Lord prophesying. This is Isaiah. Glory to God. 37 and verse 30. To those. Glory to God. That is following me in the scripture. And to those. Please write it down. So later on. They can go to it. Because some people are at work. Some people are driving. And then some people. Can, is in their word. But however. Isaiah 37 and verse 30. God said, this is how you going to know that I'm getting ready to take your enemies down for the rest of the year. Everything. Come on. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall eat this year. That's the rest of the year. This is May, right? May, December, all the way to December. You shall eat this year such as grow of itself. And next year, Come on, the second year that we're springing of the same. In other words, it's going to repeat itself. The enemy didn't even know. By the enemy coming in and trying, glory to God, to take you down, he just caused a great blessing to hit your house. He just caused a great deliverance to hit your house. He just caused a great breakthrough to hit your house. He just caused doors to open on your behalf. So therefore, if God getting ready to bless you, then you can't be out. If God getting ready to bless you, then you're not going to be destroyed by sickness. Glory to God, you getting ready to receive an Eat. My God, supernaturally, God said, I'm going to take care of you for the rest of the year. And then next year, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to repeat. And then he said, on the third year, he said, uh-huh, uh-huh. And in the third year, sow ye and reap and plant vineyards. He said, I'm giving you, I'm giving you strategy. In the third year, I need you to sow. I need you to reap. And then I need you to plant. Did y'all get that? Sow, reap, plant. I don't need you to eat. Your harvest. I don't need you to eat it. I need you to plant it. Because I need you to do stuff with it. Come on, somebody. I need you to do stuff with it so you can be ahead. Because God said the enemy shouldn't have touched you. Rumor has it. Because now you're going to spread the letter out. Are you hearing me? And the, and the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward. God said, you get ready to take root downward and bear fruit upward. God said, I'm going to replant you all over again. <laughs> Glory to God, you shall not be moved. Nothing, 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 nothing shall move you from the love of Jesus Christ. Fear. Uh, uh, for out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and they that escape out of Mount Zion, the zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. The zeal of the Lord of the hosts shall do this. Therefore, thus said the Lord concerning king of Assyria, concerning your enemies, concerning them, glory to God that wrote that letter, that eviction letter, my God, my God, that doctor's report, come on, because it was a spirit, and, and some folks don't have that spirit, they're just wicked, they're just evil. They don't need the enemy to help them to be evil, they're just wicked. Are you 
hear me? So we got two types of people we're dealing with, all right? And God said, I'm going to deal with both of them. Let me tell you what I'm going to do to the king of Syria. He shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shields, nor, nor cast uh, a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and shall not come into this city, said the Lord. Uh-huh. For I was a defense city. I will defend this city to save it for my own sake. God said, I will defend you and I'm going to save you for my own sake. That's what the Lord said. Glory to God. For I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my God, my servant David's sake. Then the angel of the Lord went forth and smote in the camp of Assyria. God said, I'm going to send an angel. See, I'm going to send an angel and this angel is going to do what I said. And the angel of the Lord went forth and smote in the camp of Assyrians, a hundred and four score, five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, there were all dead crops. Come on. They shouldn't have messed with you. They shouldn't have sent that letter to you. They shouldn't have gave you that text message. They shouldn't have emailed you that. Hallelujah. See, they didn't want to give you favor. They didn't want to glory to God to extend it. God said they should have extended it. My God from Zion, they didn't even know who they was dealing with. They didn't even know who you were. My God. So secret king of Israel. So, so the king of Assyria departed and went and returned and dwelt at Nineveh. And it came to pass as he was worshiping in the house of uh, Nisra, his God, when he was worshiping his God, come on, that uh, that Eric and Sherazan, his sons, my God, these names, uh huh, smote him with the sword and they escaped into the land of Aaron. Uh-huh. Now watch this. His own sons took him out. Did you see that? I said his own sons took him out. Are you hearing me? <laughs> Glory to God. His own sons took him out. Took him out. Glory to God. Uh, the, the, both, sire. the very weapon that the enemy is trying to use on you, God said. I'm going to bring him back. That's what God has said. Glory to God in verse 7. Because he said, I'm going to bring him back to his land. And then I'm going to take him out there. Rumor has it. Huh. Rumor has it. Now spread the letter out before God. Uh-huh. And can I just help you with something? You can say their names too. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Ruth, Paul, John. I don't care what the name of the company is. Hello, people. Come on, that debt collector. How you doing, lights? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. He's spreading it out. And God said, to, told the prophet to tell him, tell him, don't worry. I heard his prayer. I heard what he had asked me to do. And glory to God, the enemy came up against God. Hallelujah. He was trying to say, what your God going to do? You going to sit there and trust God? You going to trust a God? Did you not hear my report? That's what the enemy was saying, was trying to, you know, puff himself up. And God said, what? Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, no, he not. Okay, this is what I'm going to do for him. And I love God because God said, while I'm taking your enemies out, this is what I'm going to do for you. I'm getting ready to bring you up out of there and I'm going to bless you for the next three years. This is what's going to happen to you. For the rest of the year, supernatural blessings are going to hit your house while I'm taking your enemies out. Let me tell you something. I'm getting ready to pray. I'm getting ready to pray. There was a company, a car company. This was years ago. A car company that uh tried to come up against me. I had a car and you know something took place. I'm getting ready to pray. And something took place and they didn't want to help a sister. See, I may just look like just a mural, you know, just another woman, a female, human. No, no, no. But but they couldn't see that I'm a child of God and that my father is the creator. My father's the God of all flesh, and that I serve him. And if I open up my mouth and start talking. So you don't want me to start talking to God about you. And I'm not talking about putting you down. But I'm talking about how you treat me and what you said against me and how you threaten me and how you threaten my children and how you threaten my finance and how you threaten my house and how you threaten my body. You see what I'm saying? See, see, when you got a relationship with God like that, uh, see, then you don't want me to start talking to God. You don't want me to start going to God and to begin to start telling God how you doing, how you treating me. That's why can't nobody get over on you. Can't nobody get over on you. And so... Glory to God. And so they didn't want to help. They could have helped. They could have did what they were supposed to do, but they didn't want to. So guess what I did? I left there 
And I turned around and I looked at the company and I said, you won't be there no more. You will not be there no more. Is anybody listening to me? Help. I said a whole company. I'm not talking about the company that was just in that state. I said the whole company. Oh, God from Zion. How about stand up? And when I spoke it, glory to God, I got witnesses. And when I spoke it, glory to God, not many days hence, glory to God, 30 days, 60 days, and we rolled back down the street, and that company was gone. It wasn't just gone in that state. It was gone from all over the states that where they were at. It was a major company at that time. Oh, you don't even know who you are, baby. You don't know who you really are. If you just truly sell out to God, serve God with all your heart, all your might, and all your strength, glory to God, they don't want you to open up your mouth. It's best they leave you alone. Sickness, disease, infirmity, are y'all hear me? Anything that's spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, or emotionally, they don't want to mess with you. And people and places and things, oh baby, it look like you by yourself. I may be single, but I'm not by myself. It's more with me than that is against me. They don't know who I am. Don't let me open up my mouth. And I'm not talking about the prophesied houses. Don't let me talk to God. Oh, glory to God and how somebody treat me. Oh, by Satan of Osa. That company is no longer there. That name of that company, it was a major company. It is no longer there. Come on, somebody. Do you know who you are? Here it is that king was trying to come up against, uh uh-huh, trying to come up against Hezekiah. He took that letter right on to God. He took it to the house of God. He went within himself and started talking to God. And he read it just like they said it. Because you know, you'll you'll get on the phone and you'll call your mother, your daddy, or aunt, or uncle, your friend, your prayer partner, and start, girl, listen at this. Listen to what they said. God said, just like you'll call them, don't call them, but read me the letter. Read me the letter. Read me the letter. Because I'm getting ready to do something. Glory to God. I come to encourage somebody today. <laughs> How about I say? I say I come to encourage somebody today. They shouldn't have messed with you. They shouldn't have done, done, done that. Come on here. They should have thought about it twice. Come on here. Come on here. David said, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Glory to God. You may not even know my name. You may not even know where I was born. You don't even know. But my God from Zion, you should be asking, who is she? Who is he? Come on, somebody. Lord, have mercy. Somebody should be asking, who are they? Come on, somebody. Glory to God. The body of Christ is awesome in God. Do you think God going to allow the enemy to get the best of us? Not so. God said the enemy tried to reproach him. The enemy tried to defy him. And he ain't going to sit there and let this thing happen. He's not going to let this thing happen to you. So whatever bad news, whatever discouragement you got going on, whatever it is going on, God said, I'm getting ready to deal with your enemies. Is anybody listening? Did everybody go home? Baby, you shouldn't know. Vanessa Jackson, if you ain't got no good to say about me, don't have my name in your mouth. Don't do it. That's the wrong thing to do. Glory to God. And that's the wrong thing for them to do to have your name in their mouth. And they're trying to destroy you. And they're trying to bring you down. And they're trying to destroy your character. And they're trying to take your body out so you won't be able to praise God. So you won't be able to do the things that the Lord is calling you to do. They shouldn't be touching you. Is anybody listening? Or did everybody go home? Glory to God. I know I look just, just like a mere female woman. Ain't nothing to, ain't nothing with her. And they be saying it to you. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing on your job. Oh, ain't nothing to them. They don't even know. <laughs> they don't even know. It's because of you that the job's still kicking. It's because of you. Come on, somebody. And now they're trying to come up against you. Come on. Come on. Come on. So we get ready to pray. For the lot of minutes that I have left with you, I'm getting ready to pray now. Did you see the word? Did you hear the word? God said, I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm getting ready to show him. I'm getting ready to show him, them, and they too. I'm getting ready to show whatever demonic spirit, come on somebody, come on whatever hex and vex, come on somebody, whatever witchcraft, hello lights, come on somebody, whatever it is they try to pronounce negative, my God try to do damage over your life, come on somebody, God said I'm getting ready to deal with that, oh God, I don't know, say, yes Lord Jesus, oh, am I signed up, they mess with the wrong person today, they shouldn't have, my God picked you, they shouldn't have touched you, they shouldn't have sent that letter, they should have helped 
helped you. They should have realized that you're a child of God. And the Bible said, whoever they curse God, listen, if they won't bless you, then they're trying to curse you. And God said, I'm going to deal with them. I'm going to curse them. That scripture, baby, they should have helped you. They should have extended it. And they should have shut their mouth. Come on. Come on. When it came to you, you may not do everything right, but you love God and you working on yourself. Look at your neighbor. There ain't nobody around you. Say self. They shouldn't have done, done that. Hallelujah. Because rumor has it. God said, I'm getting ready to send a sound and cause, I'm cause that spirit to go on right on back where it came from. Come on, somebody. I'm going to cause it to go right on back where it came from. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Janine, Renee. They ain't got no clue. They ain't got no clue. They don't got no clue who you are. Mm -hmm. They ain't got no clue. They could have gave you that. They could have gave you that loan. They could have extended it. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have done, done, done that. Come on. Come on. That's right. You a child of God. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have. Whatever's on that letter. My God from Zion. Read it just like they wrote it. Because they was coming up against your God. They was, they, they was trying to be God. <laughs> you serve the true and living God. The creator of all the earth and the heavens. Come on. And under the earth. Come on. They don't know who they messing with. And you tried to give them warning, but they wasn't listening. Well, it's out of your hands now. <laughs> Come on, clear. It's out of your hands now. God said, get out the way. I'm going to deal with them. Move back. I'm going to deal with that sickness. Move back. I'm going to deal with that disease. Move back. I'm going to deal with poverty. Move back. I'm going to deal with discrimination. Move back. I'm going to deal with it. Come on, somebody. God said, get out the way so I can deal with your enemies. Oh, yeah. Woo! No more talking. Just spread the letter out before God. Tell God that some folks don't even want to obey God to bless you, to help you. Are you hearing me? God getting ready to deal with them. I got to, I got to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the working power of the Holy Spirit. God, I bless you because you are God and besides you, there is no other God. Lord God, I thank you for you, the head of the Messiah. You are the Bosi, the God of all flesh. God, I thank you this morning, oh God. I ask you to forgive us of all our sins, blot out our transgression, remove iniquity from our life, Lord God. Wash us and purge us and purify us. Consecrate and sanctify us unto you, Lord God. If there's anything within us, Lord God, that is not agreeing unto you, Lord God, uproot and gut it out now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, create in us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us, Lord God. Lord God, clothe us in your salvation and cover us in your righteousness. Uh, Father God, according to your word, oh God, uh, we come in agreement, oh God, uh, and we pray because you are God, oh God. Uh, my God, we thank you, Lord God, uh, that you're not allowing us to go on deaf ear, God, uh, for you have heard what the enemy said, oh God. Uh, you have heard how the enemy, Lord God, uh, has tried to puff up himself, oh God, to be God. Uh, and Father, we thank you, Lord God, uh, that you're about to destroy the works of the enemy now, oh God, in our lives, oh God, uh, in our children's life, oh God. Uh, on our jobs, oh God, in our bodies, oh God, in our minds, oh God. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord God, that it shall be done today, Lord God. By the word of God, it shall be done today, Lord God. And you told us in your word as you are delivering us and as you're dealing with the enemy, oh God, that you will call supernatural blessings to come to our life for the rest of the year, oh God. Help us to stay focused, oh God. Help us to stay prostrated, oh God. Help us to stay, Lord God, in alignment with you, oh God. Help us not to get off, oh God. Because you're not blessing people that are off God. You're blessing people that is in alignment with your God. Let our minds be sound, oh God. Let our hearts be right, oh God. Let our motives be right, oh God. So we can begin to receive the restoration, the renewing and the reviving and the recompense, oh God, that you're doing right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, all power belongs to you, Lord God. And Father, we thank you today, Lord God, that you're taking the enemy out, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you. Lord God, all power belongs to you, Lord God. You're the God of heaven and earth. There's nothing too hard for you. Arise, O oh Lord, and demonstrate your power. Arise, O oh Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. Make our enemies our footstool today, Lord God. Lord, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Lord of hosts, you have planned. My God, it with a see. And who can frustrate it? And ask for your hand, O oh Lord. My God, stretch it out. And who can turn it, O oh Lord? In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, your name. Your name. Lord, 
Lord is your name. Your right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Lord, you shall go forth like a mighty man. You shall stir up your zeal like a man of war. You shall prevail against your enemies, Lord God. Lord, you are fighting for us. Lord, contend with him who contends with us, O God. Lord, you will thrust out the enemy from before us, and you will say destroy to our enemies, O God. Lord, God, I thank you. Lord, cut into pieces the cords of the wicked. Lord God, avenge us today, O God. Subdue, Lord God, the people under us, O God. Deliver us, O God. O God, we need you today, Lord God. Lord, fight against those who fight against us. Lord God, crush the heads of your enemies. Lord God, turn our enemies. My God, that of us see enemies. Oh God, the counsel into nothing, God. Lord, turn our enemies' reproach upon their own heads. Lord, let them be confounded and put to shame. That seek after our soul. Lord God, break the teeth, God. Break their teeth, oh God. Break their, my God, their great teeth, oh God. Let the wicked fall, Lord God. Let the wicked fall on their own, oh God. Oh God, Lord, overthrow the works of the enemy now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you today, Lord God. Lord God, vengeance is yours and you shall repay, Lord God. Lord, Lord, beat the back of our enemies today, God. Put them on to everlasting shame. Lord, answer by fire, oh God. Lord, shut the mouth of the gainsayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, open up the ground and swallow up our enemies. Lord, cut down our enemies like grass and wither as green herb, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, keep not thou silence, oh God. Oh God, hold not thou peace today. And be not still, oh God. Lord God, do what you said you're going to do to our enemies, oh God. For they came up against you, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, do unto our enemies, Lord God. As they have tried to do unto us, oh God. Do unto our enemies, oh God. Like you did to the Midianites, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, make them like a will, oh God. As the stubble before Stubble before the wind, O oh God. Fill their faces with shame, O oh God, that they may seek your name, O oh Lord. Oh God, do it by your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, let the fire go before you and burn out of see your enemies round about. Lord, allow my God, see her. My God, Lord, allow the ground to swallow up the allow the ground to swallow them up, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, cause our enemies to turn on themselves, oh God. Oh God, cause our enemies to turn on themselves, Lord God. Lord, cause our enemies, yes, God, to lick the dust in the name of Jesus. Lord, lift up a standard against our enemies today in the name of Jesus. God, deliver our enemies. Yes, God, they all see out of our head, out of our land, oh God. Deliver us today, God. Lord, break break the back of the wicked, oh God. Oh God, in that that evil man, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, make our enemies turn on each other in the name of Jesus. Oh God, oh God, oh God, Lord, our enemies that came up one way caused them to scatter seven different ways in the name of Jesus. Lord God, your hand is stretched out. It is you and you alone, oh God, that made heaven and earth, oh God. God, it of us, he subdue our enemies today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, every word they spoke against us. Oh God, take their words, oh God, and put it back on them, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, bless us today, oh God. Cover us today, oh God. Let the blood of Jesus cover us today, in the name of Jesus. My God, that letter that was spoken against us, God, in the name of Jesus, allow that weapon to be used on them, God. In the name of Jesus, and Father, I speak peace. 
I speak spirit of Oshakara Bahaya. I speak peace now to every mindset, to every home. Glory to, to every financial being. Oh God, to every marriage, I speak peace now in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, Lord God, that you cause the enemy now, God. You cause the enemy, God. You put a hook in his nose, oh God. My God, and a bridle in his mouth, God. And you're causing him to turn back, oh God, and go back the way he came, oh God. And you're destroying him now, Lord God. And you're causing, Lord God, his own enemies to take him out, oh God. In the name of Jesus, take out sickness, oh God. Oh God, take out fear, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I thank you, Lord. Take out depression, oh God. In the name of Jesus, take out cancer, oh God. In the name of Jesus, take out high blood pressure. In the name of Jesus, God, do it by your spirit, oh God. We thank you for this word today, Lord God. We give you back your word today, Lord God, as Hezekiah spread it out before you, oh God, and you answered, oh God, and you arose, oh God, and you caused what you said to happen to happen, oh God, and Father, we thank you, Lord God, that it is so, oh God, that is being done right now, God, oh God, by your spirit, oh God, my God, the deliverance is happening right now, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, perform your good word today, Lord God, this word is a good word, perform your good word, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, help us ahead of us here to cause our heads to be lifted, oh God, that we should look to the hills from which come in our help. All our help coming from you, Lord God. It is you that made heaven and earth, oh God, and you shall do what you said you're going to do. Destroy the works of our enemies today, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Make them to come as not God, their counsel to be not, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you today, Lord God, for you shall do it in the realm of the spirit, for spiritual my God, mentally, physically, financially, or emotionally, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, those, Lord God, that got foreclosures and evictions, oh God, oh God, overthrow the turn now in the name of Jesus, God, move, oh God, upon the lives of your people, oh God, we lift our hands, oh God, we take our hands off of it now, God, so you can have handle it, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you, Lord God, that your ears are attentive to our prayer, God, for you said in your word when the righteous cry. God. You will deliver us out of all our troubles, oh God. And today is the day, Lord God, that you deliver us, God. That you heal us, Lord God. That you set us free, Lord God. Mind, body, and soul, oh God. In our homes today, God. Our children, oh God. In the name of Jesus. So much is happening, oh God. Even at the White House, God. Overthrow what he's doing that is not right, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, because it is so. 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 Lord, keep not silence. Oh, God, hold not thy peace and be not still, oh, God. Lord, do unto our enemies as thou hast done unto the Midianites today, God. God, I gave you back your word. All that I prayed this morning, God, is in your word. This is in your word, God. All that I prayed over us, over the body of Christ. God, you, you said it, and God, you are doing it now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare that it is so. We decree and declare that it is done. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord God. Yes, Lord, that everybody that was going through something major, minor, major, however you want to say it, God said, move out the way now, because I'm going to deal with it. God said, move out the way. But before you move out the way, he said, read the letter to me. Tell me what they said they was going to do. Tell me what they said wasn't going to come to pass. Tell me what they said. God said, then move out the way because I'm going to deal with them because they came up against the Lord. God said they came up against him. They said that your God ain't going to come through. They said, glory to God. He said, glory to God. Glory to God. The end of scripture, it said that the enemy told Hezekiah, why are you trusting in that God? 
Don't you know my record? You shouldn't be trusting in that God because my record said I took down every king. I took down every kingdom. I took down every person. This is what the enemy was saying to Hezekiah in that letter. Why would you trust God? This is what he was saying. Hezekiah got that letter, took it to the house of God, spread it out, read it before God. And God said, back up, Hezekiah, because this ain't got nothing to do with you. This is between me and it. This is between me and them. This is between me and that spirit. He said, bag up, because I'm going to deal with it today. I'm confident that. I'm confident that. He said, take your hands off and move back, because they had ample time to treat you right. They had ample time to have their motives and their heart right. They had ample time to turn from their wicked ways against you. They had ample time. And now they telling you, this is what God is saying. They telling you, Hezekiah. They telling you, Vanessa. They telling you, Hope. They telling you, Marilyn. Come on. They telling you, she Shell, Haynes, Nelson. They telling you, Sonia. They telling you, Larissa. They telling you, Tamika. My God from Zion. They telling you, Wilma. They telling you, Sandy Jack. They telling you Shannon Johnson. They telling you Helen Evans. They telling you not to trust me, said the Lord. They telling you I can't come through for you. They telling you that God, the God of heaven and earth won't do it for you. God said, move back. I'm getting ready to deal with it. I'm getting ready to take this situation that tried to come, that tried to come, that tried to come to take you out, that tried to stop your money flow, that tried to stop the peace in your house, that tried to stop everything. He said, I'm going to deal with them. He said, those have been mischief, been lying, been doing stuff underhand, ho, setting their own plots and their own plans. God said, I'm going to deal with it because everything done in the dark, I'm going to bring it to the light. God said, don't worry. All I need you to do is to spread the letter out before me and then watch me, said God. He said, because rumor has it, I sent the sound to your enemies. You don't even know. God is working on your behalf right now. That landowner, you know, landlord, that landowner, oh, didn't want to help you, didn't want to extend. Come on, those people that should have helped you. But yet they talking about you. But yet they putting their mouth on you. Yet they trying to put their foot on your neck. God said, get out the way so I can deal with them. And guess what, beloved? Vanessa, I didn't say apostle. Vanessa Jackson is moving back off of people. People that want to see me be destroyed. People that don't want to help me. People that got my God trying to tear up my character. Are y'all getting this? I'm backing up now. In other words, he said, don't pray. Don't pray. Because I'm going to deal with them. Don't pray. So you don't want Vanessa not to pray. They don't want you not to pray. So they don't understand. They don't understand who you are. Because you holy. You living right. Yes, God is working on things in us. I got to go, beloved. <laughs> they don't know who you are. They don't know who you are. Well, possible, but I, 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 I slipped, boo, but you got back up and repented. They don't know who they messing with. God said, bag up. God said, take your hands off. He said, don't pray about this no more. He said, bag up. He said, I'm getting ready to deal with it. According to Isaiah chapter 37, those that are coming on, those that will come on in midway or whatever the case may be, we're in Isaiah 37. When Isaiah 37, it's a whole chapter, but we, we had to, we had to, you know, break some down for the sake of time. We had to pray. God said, I'm going to show how awesome I am. I'm going to show how mighty I am. God said, I'm going to show who I am to your enemies because they didn't think I was your God. <laughs> they didn't think I could come through for you. They don't even know. They don't even know. I said, they don't even know. 
I said they don't even know. And I'm sorry, precious, if it's a loved one, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If it was a loved one, your boss that you you, you got, you know, you like, and but yet you don't even know they're doing wrong. They're talking right in your face and behind your back. They got daggers in your back. God said, move. I'm getting ready to deal with this. I'm getting ready to deal with this. God rather for you to be happy. God rather for you to walk in peace and love and joy. God rather for you to walk in rest in him. And to enjoy your days out. Now who trying to disrupt that? Did y'all hear me? Well, Pastor, you didn't call out my situation. Yes, I did. Spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, or emotionally. Wherever it falls. God said, bag up. Because I'm going to deal with it. Because rumor has it. I've already put a sound in their ear. And they're going back to that place where they had that counsel and plotted against you. The same weapon that they try to use to take you out. I'm going to use that same weapon to take them out. And you're going to be surprised how many people you thought was for you, but yet they was against you. God said, bag up now. I'm getting ready to take, I'm getting ready to take them out. And I'm getting ready to deal with him. And if you don't believe the whole totality of God, then you better stop serving him. Because if you only believe God for the blessings and the love, <laughs> no, no. God said, I would take somebody out messing with you. Because they try to interrupt what God has purposed for people to be saved through your life. And if they interrupt it and bring in grief and upsetness and harshness to you, that you can't function like you're supposed to. God said, move out of the way. Because I'm going to take them out. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Without telling you, I know what I'm talking about. I gave you an example about a car dealer. A major car dealer place. Are you hearing me? <laughs> a witch? A hex? Voodoo? Black magic? They don't know who they messing with. You better realize. You better realize who you are. God said, I'm going to take them out. No black magic, no spoken portion could do anything to you. God said, get out of the way, because I'm going to take them out. Y'all, if y'all only knew my, my entire story of my life, you will hold your mouth. <laughs> you know how many people try to take me out and they still try to? Infirmity, sickness, you know, all that type of stuff. But when God be for you, baby, who could be against you? When God is your help, then who? Tell me who. Who? I'm trying to help out 10 people this morning. I know it's more than 10 on here. But I'm telling you, that it's better for them to be your friend than your friend of me. It's better for them to not mess with you oh, than to try to set a trap for you. So whatever letter came through the mail. Whatever is going on in your body, Lord have mercy. They should have never put their hands on you. They should have never spoke evil about you. You don't hear me. They don't know who you are. You ain't all that. You just a child of God. I'm not all that. I'm just a child of God that love God. Just trying to make sure I do what God called me to do. You trying to make sure you do what God called you to do. And all of a sudden, here comes some king of Syria trying to puff up himself to make him something that he's not. Get off them phones talking about people. Oh, hold up, bossy. Every word you spoke, that's why sickness is in your body now, because you talk about people too much. Woo, everybody that's on here that's linked with me, I need you to repent so you can get out of the way, repent. And ask God to forgive you. If you said anything, done anything, came up short. God, forgive me. Forgive me. Created me a clean heart. And renew the right spirit. Repent. And then get out of the way. Get out of the way. After you have read the letter. After you have repented. I'm telling you. There are some people right now. Glory to God. You know about Apostle Jackson? I, yeah, I know, but she ain't not, but she ain't, and she ain't, and I never said I was. God said I am. I didn't say it. 
I'm just trying to be a child of God. I'm trying to be saved. I just want to do the will of God. I just want to love on God. I just want to help the people of God. Ha! Huh. Come on. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? All you trying to do is help people. And they got the audacity to think different about you. I got to get up off of here because I've been to say some stuff. I got to go. But I'm encouraging you today. I'm encouraging you. Spread it out before God. Read it. Don't be holding back. Big mama shouldn't have said it. Big daddy shouldn't have said it. Auntie or uncle shouldn't have said it. Hello, if that's them. Your boss shouldn't have did it. Come on. And if any demonic spirit, hello. God said, get back. I'm getting ready to deal with it. Take your hands off. Let me say this. Let me move this over here. Let me help a lot of y'all with something. Some of you all don't realize you're anointed by God, chosen by God. The hand of God is on your life and then I'm gone. And you have children. I have children. I have two younger boys, but then I have two older children. That y'all, you see, you see them, but you don't know they, they're my children. So I have four. Okay. Because I'm sold out for God. And I'm making sure that my life is right before God. You don't understand why you trying to gather your family around you. And they, and, and I'm not talking about this, my kids are doing this, but I'm, I'm trying to show you something. You trying to gather them around you. Cause I got, listen, there's a lot of us sisters and brothers. It's best that my family don't always be around me, especially when they're not talking right, especially when they're not doing right towards me. Are you hearing me? Because God ain't looking at no family. He ain't looking at you laid on that table for 12 and 20 hours to bring that child in the earth. He ain't looking at that. He said, okay, you try to come up against that vessel, got to take your kids out to mess with you. It's best that some of your children is away from you. So their lives can be spared. That's how awesome God is in your life. That's why I don't play. I love my kids. I love my kids. And I know walking up right before the Lord, living right, righteousness, keeping that standard up. I got nieces, I got nephews, I got aunts, I got uncles, I got sisters, I got brothers. All my grandparents are gone. My mother, my father is gone. So all I have is aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews, my sisters and my brothers and my kids. See? See, y'all don't understand. Sometime, God will spare your family and keep them from around you because they don't understand the God in your life. They don't understand how you had to walk away from everything. They don't understand that. I'm not talking, if they're in God, they understand. But if they're not in God, then they don't understand that. Their eyes are blind. And they cannot, just because they sis, bruh, my aunt, my uncle, don't mean nothing to God. I love mine. And I'll tell them in a minute, y'all need, need to move back now. Now, now y'all need to move back. You see what I'm saying? I don't want God taking my children out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want God taking my sisters and brothers out because they messing with me. I'm sorry. Because God will. I don't want God taking out my aunts and uncles and my cousins for messing with me. It's not that I'm all that because I'm nothing. I'm nothing without God. I'm just trying to teach us something. You don't know that God will take people out for you. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. I got to go. I got to go. I love everybody. Today is Wednesday. Don't forget, we'll be back here the Lord Terry at 630 for It's Supernatural. But right now, this is the weather forecast. Rumor has it. Spread the word, the letter out before God. I need you to repent. I need you to get your hands off of it. And God is going to deal with it today. And stop all that crying about, I need my family. If your family is coming up against you, 
They need to be right where they at. Are you hearing me? Because you don't know who you really are in God. He will. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Oh, God won't do that, Apostle. Okay, boo. All right. All right, read your word. Read your word and you'll see. But the blessings of the Lord make it you rich and add no sorrow. I love everybody. I feel you. 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 And the Lord said, according to Isaiah 37, this is what's happening in your life. You be encouraged, beloved. You get in this word. You read this word. Let the Holy Ghost take you to other scriptures. Let the Holy Ghost open up you even the more. Because I'm telling you, the Lord said, I'm going to deal with it today. I'm going to deal with it. Because they didn't come up against you. They came up against him. So you be encouraged. I love you all. May the blessings of the Lord make you rich and add no sorrow. You know, if you go with God, he's going to go with you. You all keep praying for me because you know I got you. I love you. Until tonight, if the Lord tarries, I send kisses, hugs, and love all around the world. Blessings to you all.